What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a bit of an experiment. I'm going to be taking a track I already kind of mixed and exported, roughly. And uh, I'm going to try to make it a bit better using Pink Noise as a reference. So, here is a piece of the track. And that's the part I'm going to be working with. So I'm going to drop in a pretty good analyzer the off a. Of IQ Analyzer, uh, version 2. is So, this is a way to analyze the frequencies. So, yeah, we'll uh, give it a play. All right, seems pretty flat. Um, we have uh, peak and hold activated. So what I'm going to do, go to my trusty folder, and I'm going to drag in a pink noise uh, Wave file. I'll just drop that in here. You can kind of hear. You can hear what it sounds like. What? Sounds. All right. So that's pink noise. It's kind of like white noise, all frequencies at once, but each frequency has uh, equal uh, loudness. So it's a good way to kind of get a balance. And you can drag and drop that right here. It'll take a bit to analyze it. And uh, yeah, and once that's done, we'll be able to do a visual comparison. And uh, we'll use um, ROQ to achieve that balance. So here is the Pink noise. I'll just have a hold selected. I'll change the color to something a bit more contrasting relief. You see, it's quite flat, and that's kind of what we're looking for. Cool. I'm going to be bringing down kind of the resolution so we can just see in more detail what's going on here. So we have this guy here and hold. There we go. Okay. Right. We have a few parts where it kind of dips down. And uh, I want to kind of deal with these extreme kind of, well, not extreme, but these dips that would cause, I don't know, it may sound like comb filtering. So I'm going to be dropping in Pro-Q2. And a really cool thing about this plugin, uh, the, the analyzer, is uh, the hold resets every time you play. And you can set it so it doesn't, or you can press clear. But every time, it'll hold. And then when you press play again, it'll reset, which is quite handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a little marker here. All right, so uh, 470 hertz is where I want to work. So I'm going to go that, type it in for... 70, bam, bring it up, and I can kind of see, I can solo it, right, so that's the, kind of the part where I want to work. You can see that there, what I'll, I'll zoom. So we'll bring that up. So now that's up to kind of where it was. And we'll just kind of leave it at that. We'll go to next part. Um, that is 1.75K. Double click. And with the Pro-Q, you can just go 1.75K. I bet in. There you go. And we will boost that up. Right. 
that's about. So now they have those two. And I want to go here and see what we do. All these little dips I'm going to bring up. So we'll go 62, 62. See. That is there. So now, easy enough. And so I don't want to work and kind of work around all these kind of very narrow bands. So what I'll do is I'll just pop in another pro Q and we'll kind of work from there. So I guess I will start around 1.15K. Head in. K and uh, see 5.6k remember we're experimenting oh that was pretty much Just this up Ted What's this guy here? It may finesse as I thought I would. The mouse sensitivity is way too high. Just blame it on the mouse. 3.1. Oops. 3.1K. There we are. Tight. So we brought that down. Look at off here. To kind of bring up those hi hats around here. Backwards now. Three point three point two five. We're following along here. Wait, no, three two five actually. So here, 1.8, one, no, not 1.8, <laughs> 180, and then we'll kind of leave it as that, and then there we have our initial balance of sort. What are you? there as I made the curve just a tiny bit bigger just for the sake of the length of the video all right that's 10 minutes and we have somewhat of a rough 
evening of the sound. Uh, apart from the low end, but we're going to play around with that a little bit later. This is kind of where the audio counts, in a way, right? Um, so, hope you learned some stuff. Uh, we're probably, we will probably be back, so, one of your hats. <laughs> 